All right, today we're talking using OpenCV in Unity for free. Okay, so it seems that the standard right now for using OpenCV in Unity is the OpenCV for Unity wrapper that costs $90 on the asset store. Now, I think it would be awesome to do some projects combining OpenCV and like AR Foundation, for example, but I don't expect you guys to buy a $90 plugin. So today we're gonna try to figure out this workflow for free. Now we're not gonna make a full OpenCV wrapper, but we are gonna try to make a plugin that will allow us to run C++ code that relies on OpenCV inside Unity. Now, yes, this will be frustrating. Yes, it will probably make you want to kill yourself. It's going to be almost impossible to debug anything. If you're not excited yet, let me just bring you up to speed on some of the things you can do in OpenCV right now. So there's a ton of stuff like object detection, instant segmentation, pose detection. You can run TensorFlow models, darknet models. You can do facial recognition, gender and age classification, text detection not to mention all the custom line detection and shape detection that you want. Now, if you're not excited at this point, you should probably check your pulse because you're probably dead. Okay, so you've downloaded the big scary program that is OpenCV and you want to run it in Xcode, for example, but how do you do that? Well, you might come across a tutorial like this one. This will have you install OpenCV with Homebrew and then link your Xcode project to the dynamic libraries from your OpenCV install. This works fine, but if you want to share your project or make a Unity plugin for Mac, your user would have to have OpenCV installed on their machine and the libraries would have to be in the same paths. So what we need to do is get the static libraries from OpenCV so that it can be packaged within our project or plugin. Now, when you download OpenCV from the GitHub, you'll notice a folder called Platforms that has iOS, Android, and OSX folders. Inside each folder is a Python script that will allow you to build OpenCV for each platform. Now, we can't just build them right away because OpenCV has extra features in their repo OpenCV Contrib, so we need to download that, and then we can run each Python script to build OpenCV for all the different platforms that includes all the possible functionality. So for Mac and iOS, we get an OpenCV.framework file, and for Android, we get an SDK folder. Now, I didn't include Windows here because I really didn't feel like messing with my Windows computer. I'm really bad at it. I'm sorry that I suck. So one thing that I've had at least a little bit of experience with is making native plugins for Android and iOS that run on Java and Objective-C respectively. Now, what I did not know before this project was that you can make purely C++ plugins that actually run on all the different platforms as well. Luckily, I came across this forum post about using static libraries to make an OpenCV plugin for iOS, and this was enough information for me to get it working on iOS and OS X for the Unity editor. For Android, I got extremely lucky because this absolute legend made a detailed post on getting OpenCV running in Android Studio with all the static libraries. So what this means is that we can have the exact same C++ source code that relies on OpenCV inside our plugins for every single platform. So backing up a little bit, what we have now is three projects. One Xcode project that is our Mac plugin for using in the editor, another Xcode project that is our iOS plugin, and an Android Studio project that is our Android plugin. So each library shares the same C++ code. To build for the Unity editor, you can grab the OpenCV Mac plugin repo and modify whatever code is in the OpenCV plugin.cpp and HPP files. When you hit play, this will build a Mac plugin.bundle file, which goes into plugins, Mac OS, in Unity, alongside the OpenCV2.framework for Mac. iOS is basically the same thing, except for you get a libiosplugin.a file. For Android, the only difference in the source code is you have to remove the exports from the HPP file, and then once you build the plugin, you can get what you need from app, build, intermediates, CMake, debug, OBJ, and there you'll see folders for each architecture that contain the corresponding .so file. So back in Unity, those SO files go inside plugins, Android libs, alongside each OpenCV file. So now, native plugins get loaded once when Unity starts, and they don't get unloaded until you close Unity. So the bad part about working with plugins is that you have to restart Unity every time you make a change. Uh, some people have found ways around this by wrapping their plugin with another plugin, which I tried to do, and I just did not have good luck with. 
Anyway, to create the C++ source code that you would put inside a plugin, I made a project on my GitHub called Plugin Creator. This links to the same OpenCV framework that the Mac plugin uses. You can grab this project from my GitHub, but don't just download the project as a zip because for whatever reason that was seeming to corrupt the framework file for me. So I would just run uh, open up terminal and run a git clone. You can open that project up in Xcode and just put the info.plist alongside the executable. Now you should be able to play around with OpenCV in Xcode using the same OpenCV version that our plugins will use. Okay, so these plugins connect with Unity just like any other plugin you might have seen. You can use DLL import to declare the functions you're gonna use. The main difference here is I added Unity's native render plugin into the mix. They have this project on Bitbucket that allows you to pass a texture pointer to a plugin and actually modify that texture from unmanaged code. So what this means uh, in this context is that we can use OpenCV's drawing functions to modify a texture and we can actually view that texture in Unity without having to pass the pixels to Unity every frame. The bad news is that I suck and I have not yet figured out how to actually read pixels using the native render plugin. As of right now, I'm sending the pixels through to unmanaged code every frame, which works, but it's not ideal. So the way that we view textures in Unity right now is this. On startup, a viewable texture pointer gets passed to the plugin, and a plugin event gets issued at the end of every frame. On the native side, on render event is what's getting called at the end of every frame, and that calls modify texture pixels, which grabs the latest map from OpenCV and draws it onto the texture that we see in Unity. So if we check out end modify texture, you'll see an implementation for OpenGL and Metal. I'm assuming we can make another function here that just reads the pixels on OpenGL and Metal from a similar texture pointer, but I just don't know how to do that yet. So yeah, if anyone out there knows how to get the pixels from an OpenGL or metal texture that we could then use to make an OpenCV mat, I could really use some help. Also, I was trying to run plugin functions on another thread inside Unity, but I guess OpenCV is not thread safe. So I was getting a bunch of like bad access errors. I tried using the Unity job system, but that didn't give me much in the way of performance. I'm thinking maybe there's a way to do it in C++ with TBB or something like that, but I don't really know. If anybody has any ideas, I'm all ears. Anyway, uh, if you want to try the little demo that I put in the intro of this video, I put the project up on my GitHub and it's called Cloak. I used this tutorial for the OpenCV code. It basically does a real-time green screen effect. I made it work with red or green colors. When you use the project in Unity, there are three buttons. The first button sends the current camera frame as the green screen texture. The second button will send a custom image. And the third button will send video frames as a texture. So you shouldn't have to do anything special to run it, uh, on iOS at least. You should just be able to build it out as normal. Um, on Android, it worked fine on my Pixel 3, but I had one of my friends say that uh, he had problems on his Samsung Galaxy device. Hey, how did you get it working on Android again? Disable multi-thread rendering. Ah, okay, sick, sick. Uh, hey, you gonna send me that dancing video? Yeah, I'll get that to you right now. So it will run in the editor on Mac, but not Windows. So maybe I'll look into doing that for the next video. All right, so that's all I got for today. Um, I'm gonna try to get this working better for the next video so we can start playing with the machine learning stuff that OpenCV has to offer. If you wanna see something different, let me know in the comments. I do have a Project Northstar headset coming in the mail. So we'll get to play with that soon. But yeah, for now, I guess I have to go learn about OpenGL and Metal. So with that, I we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.